What's up guys, Maritime Spook, and uh, as you can see here guys, those of you that are into the bushcraft that follow the channel, you're going to see this big, nice, beautiful piece of chaga. And what makes this even more beautiful guys is about two minutes ago, I was up here and got a bunch of footage of some great big huge wild turkeys. And what makes this even more beautiful is that this tree is on our, my land my father's land we have about 60 beautiful acres here in Atlanta Canada and uh, this is just basically the start of it along our rock wall here and uh, I come up and was looking at the turkeys hadn't been up in this particular area for a while and boom there we go and uh, up along the tree there are other nice pieces of it as well you can see that piece right there it's kind of dark uh, guys with well, that piece there that's a big piece but Anyway guys, I'm going to chop this off. I've just got my cheap yard works axe that works fine. And uh, my milk jug uh, sheath that goes on it. And I'm going to whack this off guys and then uh, we'll show it to you. As you can see guys, <laughs> that's beautiful on the inside. And this is what you're looking for. Uh, the black outside is, uh, you know, sometimes hard to spot. This is on the silver birch. Or sorry yellow birch and uh, sometimes it's hard to spot but once you get on the inside of it and you see this this is how you know guys so I'm gonna go very carefully and kind of chop it around and uh, I'll show you the finished product okay guys uh, like I said I've got uh, this is the finished product guys and I've got a huge chunk of it there and I've got a whole bunch of beautiful pieces um, some of them I'm going to clean up a little bit, <clears throat> but I just want to show that to you, and uh, that's the finished product. So I can actually come back, guys, and still with my knife, scoop out a whole bunch of it in there, guys, and, uh, you know, be able to get it out. And uh, I was told from some people, you need to harvest it all right then, this and that, but I don't find that to be 100% true, because I've came back to spots where I found it before, and, uh, you know, come back and it was fine. So I may also, I stay, still may come up later with my knife, starting to sprinkle rain a little bit. And there's still a couple spots on here with chaga that I'm just going to leave. So what an awesome find. And uh, before I go, guys, I'm going to show you something really cool. Just another piece of gear that I just picked up that I've been looking for. I've got myself this uh, cool butt pack here. And I got my knife on it. And my buckle lap lander and my fire kit and all that stuff's inside it. It's a mossy oak butt pack. You know, I've got my fire kit, all that stuff in it. And uh, just a few other little things. Got my uh, pretty well favorite knife, guys, anyway. This is my Triple X Knives Highland Forester. She's a little dirty there. It's not rust, it's dirt. And <laughs> she's got a forced patina because I was actually. When I first found this, I hacked off a couple of pieces there and uh, to check out the quality of the chaga. And another thing being said too, guys, that's absolutely 100% primo, primo, primo chaga. So, just wanted to show you that, guys, and uh, my new butt pack. And I'm going to go and uh, do a couple more videos here in the next day or so, guys. So, uh, make some char cloths and do some other cool stuff. I get some shade knives to test. So, stay tuned, guys. Anyways, Maritime Spook signing out. And uh, keep your stick on the ice. And I'm super, super happy with my awesome chaga find. And uh, I'll keep you posted on some other stuff. So anyway, guys, it's Maritime Spook uh, signing out. Take it easy, guys.